Good Monday morning, Florida State, and to everybody that I saw uh, getting their student IDs here at orientation, welcome to the Seminole family. I'm student meteorologist Jay Carstens here to preview what looks to be a fantastic week ahead. So let's jump right into it here with these current conditions sitting at 63 degrees right now in the capital city under perfectly clear skies. Pretty humid out there, but again, no cloud cover really to speak of. That holds true across the entirety of the region as we push later on into the afternoon. Those temperatures are very comfortable as you start your week here. 63 in Tallahassee, 64 in St. Mark's, 65 in Apalachicola. You don't really see anything higher than that. Although those temperatures are going to be heating up into those mid to upper 80s as the afternoon progresses. That Doppler radar is spotless. You see some greens and yellows being picked up here. That is not rainfall. That is not cloud cover. May, it may very well be a flock of birds just happen to be flying near the St. Mark's area. Uh, and uh, I guess hovering around there as the morning carries on. Again, just another gorgeous morning to uh, get your work week started here. Uh, a little bit cooler than we've had uh, yeah, in the last couple of days. We had a cold front that pushed through the area, brought all that pretty big rainfall here on Friday. That severe weather, of course, that we had. Uh, wake us up on our Friday mornings. That has since pushed into South Florida now, so a little bit cooler than uh, what we had at this time yesterday. Six degrees cooler, specifically in Tallahassee, as you see those temperatures comfortably hovering around that 60 degree mark across the entirety of the area. Let's set this future cast radar into motion and see just how nice of a week we are going to be seeing around here. Starting Monday night, again, that front is pushed away from South Florida. You see a lot of these showers and thunderstorms developing near the Bahamas, even pushing towards parts of Cuba. Around here, though, looking fantastic overnight uh, tonight and into tomorrow. That's going to be staying, uh, holding true with those clear skies remaining in the picture really throughout the entirety of the week here. We're not really going to see anything in terms of a significant rain chance until perhaps the end of the weekend just in time for Memorial Day. Now for today, it's looking fantastic again. 88 in Tallahassee, 87 in Monticello, 88 in Valdosta. Sunny skies, hot conditions out there. So the big thing is going to be to keep the sunglasses and the sunscreen out there if you're going outdoors. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, as we preview the rest of the day ahead in your day planner. Wind's coming out of the north northwest at 5 miles per hour. So here is your day planner if we're going to uh, push this into motion here. Starting at 12 o'clock, have the sunglasses, have the sunscreen, stay hydrated. I figured I'd just throw the suggestions out there because those conditions really aren't going to be changing much as the day goes on. The only thing that's going to be changing here is uh, what, where this temperature is in terms of the 80 to 90 degree mark. Uh, really. So again, a fantastic one, but a hot one. So you definitely want to keep the sunscreen out, especially if you're going out on the water here. Surf less than two feet. Winds coming out of the northwest at five to ten miles per hour. A little bit stronger near the coast compared to uh, a little more inland like around here in parts of South Georgia. Water's sitting at a nice 79 degrees now. So we're getting into that summertime uh, range where those waters are going to be sitting in the 80s. Fantastic beach day to get out there today, of course, if you come prepared. On the boat, same uh, general idea here. Winds coming out of the northwest at 5 to 10 knots. Not much of a wave activity, so a light shot. Plenty of sunshine out there, so again, just be prepared. And if you're on the golf course, haven't really thrown this one out here in a while, and you know I love that. Fantastic day to get out on the course. Good scoring weather, of course. Not really much wind to speak of if you're, uh, if you're an avid golfer out there. So, of, co of course, if you prepare for that heat, if you prepare for that sunshine, it's going to be a good day to shoot a pretty low number out there with that light wind coming out of the north-northwest around here. For tonight, again, another clear night, 62 in Tallahassee, 61 Monticello, 63 in Carabelle, clear skies throughout the area, not really anything in terms of wind, so a nice cool night too, uh, something that's uh, been a bit of a, we've been missing a little bit of that lately, with those lows oftentimes sitting near that 70 degree mark in the last week or so. For the remaining seven days, the rest of the work week which just looks fantastic, 90 degrees tomorrow under sunny skies. Those upper 80s hanging around through the remainder of the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just in time for Memorial Day, you see those rain chances start to peak up just a little bit. Some of that garden variety shower and thunderstorm activity uh, could be pushing its way into the area as the work week goes on. But again, for the remainder of this week, looking forward to what's going to be a lot of sunshine ahead. So uh, if you want a little more information, check out our broadcast tonight at 6 o'clock. Until then, enjoy your Monday.